Opening statements are getting underway in Donald Trump's hush money criminal trial. It's the first of four criminal cases against the former president to go before a jury. Prosecutors are arguing that Donald Trump was involved in a scheme to hide negative stories about him in the buildup to the 2016 election. This case involves charges that he falsified business records, essentially covering up the alleged cover-up. Prosecutors say that Donald Trump labeled payments to his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, as legal fees, when in reality, prosecutors argue, they were reimbursements for hush money paid by Cohen on Trump's behalf. Trump's lawyers argue that this case shouldn't be happening at all, that the payments to Cohen were not part of any cover-up or any scheme, and that this case, echoing the words of their client, is a witch hunt and amounts, in a way, to election interference with Trump's chances as the presumptive Republican nominee in this year's election. Now, prosecutors have latched onto that election interference moniker also. They claim that the alleged hush money scheme was, in effect, election interference. They say that by trying to hide negative stories about Trump, Trump and his allies were, in effect, preventing the electorate from having all of the information about him before votes were cast. Trump's lawyers argue that Trump was paying legitimate legal fees to Michael Cohen, who worked for about a decade for Trump, and that Cohen, uh, who had been a longtime ally of Trump, is a liar and cannot be trusted. Cohen is now a key prosecution witness in this case, and once opening statements wrap up, we will be on to witnesses, including Cohen, including porn actor Stormy Daniels, and possibly including people within Trump's campaign and inner circle.